All right, first and foremost, I got praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash, double ones to Pastor Editor GMS. Citation to your brother, push word with true, true to seven four corners. On the brother Tyson, one, Tyson one for GMS Mississippi Camp. I'm gonna do quiz and let twit quit lesson today. Basically, uh, to, uh, disobedience will get you, will, will get you messed up. <laughs> what was that other word? But it gonna get you messed up, all right. And the Lord just requires us to obey, all right? all right. And that's what He wanted to do. He just obey His obey His words, His voice. And the reason we went in captivity because we we didn't obey Yahweh Moshe all right. I'm gonna bring this quick. Uh, it's, it's not. It's, it's like uh, about Samuel didn't hearken, didn't obey. Uh, yeah, how about you, Moshe? All right. Cause when the Lord told him to go, uh, go kill all the Amalekites, he take care of everything. All right. But, but what did Samuel do? Samuel, <laughs> Samuel did what he wanted to do. All right. And I'm gonna start it up. Uh, uh, this, uh, this first Samuel 15. In 19, referred, then thou did not obey the voice of the Lord thy power, but did fly upon the spoils, and did even in the sight of Yahweh Shah. And Saul said to Samuel, Hey, I have obeyed the voice of Yahweh Shah, have gone the way which the Lord sent me, and have brought Ragab the king of Amalekite, and, and other destroyed the Amalekites. All right? Amalek, I mean Amalekites. But Lord said, screw all of them. All right? That's what you're supposed to do. You ain't to take upon you to do what you want to do. It's like a lot of Jake today, they don't want to uh, obey nobody. When, 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 uh, especially, you, you come to this truth and, and you know what not to do and you do what you do what you want to do. That right there can get you messed up. All right? Uh, uh, verse verse 21 but the people took the spoils of the sheep oxen chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed see they're supposed to have been destroyed but Samuel going to do the hell he want to do today our people today they want to do the hell they want to do uh, a sacrifice unto the Lord that thy God in Gilead verse 22 and Samuel said, had the Most High as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, and is obeyed in obeying the voice of the Yahweh of Shai. Behold, it's better to look, this is, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than fat rams. It's obey to follow to to listen to Yahweh of Shai. To do to do sacrifice to do. What, Whatever you want to do. Alright? It, it, it's always consequences. If you don't obey, they're saying like damn red light. It's red light there. And the light is red now. And you gonna you gonna run that motherfucker or you gonna sit there. Now if I tell you, you run it, car red. Oh guess what? You could die or that person can, or you cause an accident or cause somebody to be to be put to, to be put to death. Verse twenty three. For rebellion, so for rebellion is as sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is unique to idolatry, because I had rejected the word of Yahweh Shai, he had also rejected thee from for being king. So Lord took Saul for being king. All right. So it's okay. It is. It better to obey, man. We didn't obey. That's why we over in captivity. All right. This is Ephesians. Let's see, Ephesians. Ephesians 5, I think I'm going to Ephesians, let's see. Ephesians 5 and 6. All right. And that's why you have, you have to listen to, uh, especially your leaders, 
some that someone that trying to uh, steer you steer you down to the right path. Listen to them. Don't like like the scripture say, hey, if you don't commit adultery, don't do none of that. And and now we came to the truth that the apostle woke us up. The spirit power, brought us the truth through the spirit power we have our shot. And basically they uh uh our spiritual fathers. So they tell us, guide us on shit we shouldn't do. Cause it, it gonna be consequences for your actions. Alright, verse uh, verse six. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of because of the, these things coming coming the wrath of uh, the wrath will you have a shot upon the children of disobedience. So you want to be a disobedient ass kid or person, the wrath will you have a shot going to touch you. or going to touch down on you. Or may affect your kids. May affect your uh, your livelihood. But the wrath going to come down on you, man. Because your disobedience. Mm -hmm. So when you come, to, when you come in this true. You know what no you know what not to do because it's against the scriptures. Now you wanna do what you wanna do because you feel like you want you wanna be the man or you wanna do what you wanna do. But you, you came to you came to change, you came to be a, a new person. But you feel like you you can do a better way. Or you act like this did this. this. It's not, it's not going to hurt you, but it, it will hurt you. And this is, uh, like it's season two. And it's season two. And two, well then, and pass, and pass you walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, with the spirit that will now work it into children of disobedience. Are you walking in the world of Esau world? You know how you know the scripture says, don't like be part of this world. Before we came, before we came to truth, we were part of this world and we want to walk or act or do what the people in the world were doing. But what did it say? But it said, the spirit did not work in the children of disobedience. So don't be a, 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 a disobedient child or, or asshole because you, you don't like it. You don't like uh being told what to do. And guess what? These are the thing about it, when when it coming to you, these are words of Yahweh about shy. Lord using them that them brothers who to come down on you uh to basically keep you out from getting hurt or keep you from doing shit you don't supposed to do. That's all that it is. But but Saul didn't hearken. What happened to him? What happened to him? The Lord took his kingdom from him. Alright? The Lord done that. And same way, same way he can do it to us. If we don't hearken through the words and the spirit of power you have by shine, Lord he can take us out or he can make it life hell for you. But the thing is just to be old, to obey. Alright? To obey. And what is uh in Acts of five and Acts five and um I think it's twenty seven and this and this is what Peter said uh this Acts five twenty nine and then Peter and the other apostles answered and said we ought to obey Yahweh Shah rather than me all right. We, we should obey or you how about your shot if, if your leader leading you right down the right path and they're showing you in the scripture don't do this don't do that like I said these are words of Yahweh Shah so we read follow you how about we read obey you how about your shot then then then, then, a, then a man that that really don't know hell going on just, just out there just a, a, a being a nigga just being a two third don't don't listen to them they ain't, they ain't for you they pushing death, man. Cause they gon' they gon' they gon' take it down through there. So our apostle is looking at our far soul, man. Our souls. 
So we should we should hug it to them, to them. All right, cause yes, we believe in the day of the man of the Lord. All right, and with that, y'all brothers stay strong. We almost home. I give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash. Double one to the Apostle Edison, GMS, and citation to your brother. Put your word with truth. Truth to the Syrian, Shalom.